was it all in vain? Am I one of them now? What if I play this game just to end back up in the GA? Burn it up in flames. Burn it up in flames. Cause I'm leaving town.
play my guitar I just want to stare at the stars I just want to be on my own That's the way it is
School Night says you're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so excited to see. Look at this beautiful band, Decorator. Hey. hey. Welcome, guys. <laughs> Thanks for having us. Thank oh, you, Chris. God, it's, it's a pleasure. It's really, really cool how we ended up meeting, too, how we stumbled over um, each other, uh, which I want to get to in a second. But I got I to gotta draw some attention to this chat. The chat is full of love. Too Hardcore says, whoa, just stumbled onto this. It's so good. Um, <laughs> Rudy Zenz uh, <laughs> says, throws bras on stage. Nice. Um, <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> thank you, Rudy. <laughs> Mr. Pickles 880, I want to thank the band for my new favorite music to turn up when I turn the lights down. Ooh. Um, oh. this, guy, this guy, 50% Prince, 50% Bruno Mars, 100% Satin Sheets, and a candlelit <laughs> room, OMG. Uh, <laughs> we take that as a very high compliment. That's, it's, yeah, it's that's one of the better high ones. Compliment. Yeah. Um, TNT Boomer Maze. I have this hooked up to the sound system. This is good music, 100%. Thank you. Um, Insomnia Chicken. So glad this was on Twitch Highlights. What a vibe. Um, Curious MVs. Bless you, Twitch Highlights. This is exactly the vibe I need. And Homebrew. I guess this is somebody that's in the, in the camp. So cool to see them on a sizable stage, too. I remember seeing these guys at a house show via So Far Sounds. Oh, wow. Uh, so that's far. Way wow. back. That's like 2015 or something, right? Yeah. yeah. How did well? Did you do your research, Chris? I did my re I <laughs> research. I'm a professional. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so uh, I have to say, you know, um, this is a long way around to say that when my, when my, I, when uh, my wife and I were pregnant with our first kid, our first baby, we were in a Lamaze class. This goes somewhere, I promise. <laughs> we were in a Lamas class, and we met Andrew and Mary Hines, who were pregnant at the same time, and their baby Coleman and my baby Marika became fast friends when they were little kids. They were doing playdates together. They became first boyfriend and girlfriend. They were toddlers, you know. But Andrew Hines has been a beloved friend of mine for all those many years, and I got a outreach from Andrew Hines some few weeks ago, and he's like, "You got to check this band out. You got to check out Decorator." So when Andrew reaches out, I've got to check it out. But here's the thing: you Shout guys out to have been Andrew. playing together, yeah, huh? Shout out to Andrew. That's Shout out very to Andrew. Nice of right? him. Yeah. But here's the thing: I mean, I keep my ear to the ground. I, I'm paying attention. I listen. I look for new music every damn day. That's what I do. I'm a radio host. I have this school night thing for 10 years and you guys have been playing together for seems like 10 years where, yeah, where have i been that. how did i miss you um <laughs> i yeah i you know we've been, we've been playing around we've been playing a little low-key you know uh yeah a lot of those years we were children so cause we <laughs> yeah, i guess that's true in, in a band playing together but yeah we've we've been around just doing it um organically and then sometimes you just have a friend who uh you know has another friend who works on the radio and then <laughs> and then all these people are watching you so yeah yeah no we've been playing fences on the radio too uh just jumping all over you guys you know uh when you find something good you get excited about it and do whatever you can you know and that's what we're doing um i want to remind the chat that three out of the four of you are brothers and uh, I don't know if they can guess which one is not a brother, because I was wrong. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, um, yeah, I don't. There's probably a lot of people in the chat that know you guys and know who you know who you are. But um, yeah, so three of you guys grew up together, and I assume you've been playing together as soon as you could hold instruments. Is that true? Yeah, more or less. Yeah, when uh, we were six, seven, and eight, we all got put in guitar lessons. Okay. They hurt Miles' fingers. He said he wanted to play bongos. <laughs> I said I wanted to play bongos, and then they put me in drums, which was kind of cool. Yeah, and then two years later, I switched to bass. Yeah. A year later, we played a show in front of Matt at our elementary school, and he's like, hey, I play. Let's play. And the rest, is history. It's, it, the rest is history. Yeah, Matt the actually rest. came up to us after our first show and asked us when our next practice was. I was like, it's on Tuesday. He's like, cool, I'll be there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the Paul McCartney move. Yeah, yes. There we go. Yes. All right. Because yeah. Paul McCartney saw uh, the quarry men with John Lennon and he came up to him afterwards and was like, hey, I'm yeah. <laughs> We're so the Beatles. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> so were the Beatles. <laughs> you are you're essentially the incarnation of the reincarnation of the Beatles. Which I understand you guys did Beatles covers in one of your first uh live performances. Am I yeah, wrong? Day Tripper. Oh yeah. wow. How yeah, do 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 I am a professional. Do 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 I do research. Wow. Yeah, wow. So our early shows were like, hey, if you want to see uh, like 12 year olds play Bob Marley, The Doors, and The Beatles covers, uh, <laughs> these are the these So are it was boys. a lot of, was, our shows were a lot of parents. <laughs> the parents <laughs> loved parents. us. The kids were like, what the fuck is this? Like, what, <laughs> what are we watching? Can you play some in sync? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, <so laughs> I think it's really great. And where in LA is this that you guys were coming up? Um, mostly like Silver Lake, Echo Park area. Mm -hmm. um, younger, yeah. Yeah, when we were much younger. Yeah, now we're all mostly East LA, Northeast LA, but we started moving towards this side like five, six years ago. Yeah, okay. About. And and Silver Lake, um, obviously, that's a, a good spot for you guys because you went to the Conservatory of Music, right? Conservatory yes. of Music. Yeah. In Silver Lake. This all is of like you? Nardwar. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. The, the conservatory. Uh, we were like wow. part of the first group of people to ever take lessons there. So when they opened up, it was like all of us. And Matt was there, uh, pretty early too. Yep. Mm -hmm. So we uh, we got a f like a first taste of kind of playing with each other before he joined our band. I think we were in this thing called Funk Camp, and we would yes. go uh, and they would just teach all these little kids Funk. how to play like James Brown and Bootsy Collins and stuff. Look sly in the family stone and shit. Yeah, it was great. It made a lot of sense to us. Well, uh, Silver Lake Conservatory of Music, for those that don't know in the chat, this was um, established by one of the greatest bass players on the planet, uh, Flea, right? Red Eyes yes, Peppers? Mm-hmm. Did he, he is start it? He was, yeah, yeah he, he opened did. it. Yeah, him, was it him and Keith that yeah. started it? Yeah. yeah. Um, Reese took bass lessons with Flea for a little bit. Say, like there was a, yeah, like yeah. a brief there's, there's period the of time. In that. Yeah. That sounds good. And, and so, so we just are obligated to that. say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't talk about it. <laughs> um, okay, well, I, I have a little discrepancy about the name of the band that I have to clear up because uh, the name Decorator is a little bit curious. And uh, I've heard sort of two tellings of why it's called why the band is called decorator one that it's based on a frank zappa quote okay <laughs> all right what's well, the other one <laughs> well, we'll tell you we'll tell you, <laughs> yeah, I you, were, yeah, you have our ears. we'll let you okay. know <laughs> all right <laughs> you don't know what the quote you don't want to know, know i know the quote, the quote. i know the quote okay um well the other is that um the melendra's family your family your father had a furniture store and decorators <laughs> came to it. <laughs> These are some deep cuts, man. Yeah. Moby <laughs> used to shop at, at uh, the living room, by the way. Uh, yeah. Little, little Moby oh, used wow. to come in here, yeah. here and there. Yeah. But, um, okay. it's a I'll little bit of both. I'll mention that to him when, when he comes through. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit of both of those and a little bit of neither. I, the yeah. name was a little kind of random and I know that's not as fun, but, uh, mm. Once we you came up with it, we, yeah. Well, I think more than anything too, it's just we played around with a lot of fonts and had that yeah. name. We're like, oh, this kind of looks good. Yeah, we and like the way it looked. Yeah, yeah. More well, than anything, yeah. We oh, definitely yeah, so. came at it with the approach that the we'll try to make it cool instead of you know having a, a super cool name. We just wanted like a name, yeah. and then yeah. uh, all the other stuff kind of followed. Like, oh yeah, your dad's this, and we like loved Frank Zappa, and it all kind of fell in together. Okay. Fair enough. Well, I want to call attention to the fact that there's a, a new EP out. It's called Gentleman's Sweep. And that was a term that I also wasn't familiar with. I think it's because I'm not I'm not big in the sports world. And so I'm kind of, I don't know the term. But this is a new EP. Um, and it's just out. And I guess, you know, can we, can we just... Uh, like Fences, the one that we're playing on KCRW, is on that EP. Yep. But mm -hmm. uh, Gentleman's Sweet, that's a sports term, yes? Yeah. Yes. You can take so it. there's a yeah, lot of sports heads in the I'll chat that are like, of course one. it's a sports term. I don't know what it is. but <laughs> It's uh, in a uh, best of four series, best out of seven, rather. Yeah. Uh, usually a sweep is just a clean four in a row, but it's when you're nice, you give them one, you know? So you, you get the series. You, uh, well, elaborate one a little loss. more. Yeah, one what part of the season. <laughs> <laughs> it's the playoffs. Yeah. Okay, in the playoffs Basketball. they do seven games, and uh, gentleman sweep is when you give when you them win one in game. five. Yeah, yeah, you win in five games, and you let the other team. You're a gentleman, so you don't you don't embarrass them. Maybe you let them win right. one game at home. Uh, but there's five songs on our EP, and uh, yeah, oh, I so see. We thought it was kind of fun. 
It's very Hello. cute. <laughs> <laughs> it is cute. <laughs> Thank you. Adorable. <laughs> All right. Um, any shows coming up that we should tell people about before we... Before we oh, say this was kind of it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> this is kind of it right yeah, now. We're, yeah, we're waiting for things to open back up. But we, we're uh, if you're watching this and you're booking shows, you know, holler, holler <laughs> yeah. at your boys yeah. for sure. Yeah, holler. So the band is fully unsigned, is that right? Yeah. yeah. Yes. DIY as of now. Damn. Yes. Good, good things coming, I think, for you guys. Thank, Thank you, brother. man. We appreciate that. Yeah. And uh, Lodge Room is where you guys shot the set. Yeah, shout out to Lodge Room. Shout, shout out to shout Lodge out to Room. Them. Yes. Yeah. They did. Did, did everybody a solid for that it sounds like yeah yeah they're very hospitable they're awesome <laughs> um well I, I i look forward to seeing you guys in real time in in the real world in a real venue and so i can really feel that that live performance it was super fantastic and i'm, I'm just grateful that you brought it to us thank, thank you thank man. you so that's, much for that's this. Yeah. nice of you Absolutely. Thanks for having us. Um, oh God, my no, this pleasure. Has been, this has been awesome. Thanks everybody who yeah, was part of this. Pulled up. Yeah, and thanks yeah. everybody for coming. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Olivia TNT. Wendell, that was great production, by the yeah. way. Yeah, that was great production. Oh awesome. yeah, awesome set. That's great. And uh, looking Good forward to this Moby premiere and Jo and everybody. Thanks, Thank um, I just want to say TNT. Uh, oops, I lost her comment. Um, TNT Boomer says they're going to be a game changer. Uh, I say her. I don't know. It might be might be a he. Anyway, big love for you guys in the chat. Um, wish you the best. Enjoy the rest of your Monday night. Yeah, and thanks for coming you. through. Thank, yeah, thank, thank you. you Take it easy. Okay. Woo!